So this whole body is composed of things I've eaten, drank, and breathed. You could say, okay, okay, fine. The brain, the brain is what's special. The brain, that there you are. Okay, what is the brain made out of? The brain is made out of things I eat, drank, and breathe. The brain has oxygen and water and nutrients from what I've eaten, drank, and breathed. In fact, my original brain was made from things my mom ate, drank, and breathed. So, where is the line between where I start and where I end and where the world starts and the world ends? I am so dependent on the world. I am in such a state of constant interaction with the world. How is there any separation? The idea of separation is just the same as the idea of my name is. It's an idea. If you look on my body, I don't have my name anywhere on it. You would have to pull up a piece of paper. You would have to talk to me. If you just saw me laying down somewhere, you, you would have no way to know my name unless you'd watched this video or seen something online. But if you'd never done any of that, you'd have no way to know my name. And so to you, my name wouldn't exist. If I don't remember the past, and if I can't think about the future, then who am I? If I can't remember my name, if I don't know where I am, if I don't know that all the things in this room supposedly are mine, then whose are they? That always bothered me in my life. If I didn't remember something, did it really happen? Because we tie who we are so much to our memories and these ideas. And yet, when you try and define who you are, as I've just tried to define who I am, you'll find it's nearly impossible. So you might say, okay, okay, give up on defining who you are now. Tell me about what you've done. What have you done? Okay, well, what have I done? I've been in school. I've taken classes. I have a wife. I have brothers and sisters. A brother and a couple sisters. I have a mom. My dad's passed away. So do I really have a dad then? Since I couldn't go show you, I could show you pictures. I've got grandparents. I may have a child coming soon. I live in a house in Florida. But what does that tell you? All it does is tell you how to find me. What does it really tell you about who I am? It really tells you nothing about who I am. You really know nothing more about me than you did before. You might, you might be able to apply stereotypes. You might say, oh, okay. Well, you're from Florida, blah, blah, blah. Or you went to college here, blah, blah, blah. Those may or may not be right, though. Those are just guesses. You don't really know anything. And if I've shown you, even trying to define something physically as who I am is very tough. So trying to define me in terms of ideas is even more difficult because those are all subjective. One person's ideas are not the same as another's. And ideas are all so subjective. I could tell you I went to college. I have a master's degree. And someone else with another type of degree would say, oh, that's not a real degree. I have a master's in criminology. Someone with a master's in something else that's a professional degree might say, oh, that's great. You technically have a master's, but you really can't do anything with it. And someone else who has a PhD might expect me to call them doctor because they've had four or five more years of education than I have, when I've had around 20 years of education, and they would have 25 or 30. You see how tough it is to define things in the world. You see that if you go far enough into detail, you really can't separate the world from anything. Everything is one part of the world. And when you try and cut a piece out of the cake, you are hurting the cake in general. You're ignoring, you're trying to eat and make part of the cake 
yourself. And when you try and cut the world up, you're doing the same thing as if you're cutting a cake up. You're just chopping it up artificially. Those divisions you make in the cake are not sacred any more than everything else is sacred. So if you go chop up a cake, you could do it by whatever system you wanted, but that cake was originally and even still is a whole. It's an inseparable part of the whole no matter how it's chopped up. If you chop that cake up and eat it in different pieces, the cake is still the same part of the whole because the cake never really was separate from the whole. You put things together, you created the cake, you chopped it up and you ate it. The idea of the cake is just an idea, it's not real, it's just a form. So understanding getting into this illusion of separation is really helpful. It's so helpful in understanding and getting to know yourself. So today, try and do this on yourself. Try, take a look and try and define yourself. Try and see if you can very specifically define yourself separate from the rest of the world. Try and isolate who you are without having the world influence that. Then, once you can see that all things ultimately are part of one whole, then you can draw on the energy from the whole. You can work as a part of the whole instead of an isolated person with isolated problems and an isolated life and an isolated past and an isolated future. You can work as part of the whole and that's where the miracle happens. That's where you can do amazing things as a part of the whole. You can do almost nothing trying to separate yourself from the whole because you will always be reminded you are not separate of the whole and it will make you mad. When something happens and you say, this has happened to me, it will frustrate you. So today, try and see the illusion of separation for yourself. If you meditate, try and meditate on the illusion of separation. If you don't meditate, just try and define the same way I tried to define myself for you. Try and define yourself in terms that are unarguable to someone else. Even to yourself. Try and define yourself in a way that makes it clear where you start and stop and where the world starts and stops outside of you. Thank you for experiencing this with me as one part of the whole because I'm just a voice in your head. That's all I am. I'm a voice on a screen or a voice in your earbuds. That's who I am to you now. I am a part of the whole and I am appearing inside your definition of who you are. So if you can see that, there's a miracle there for you. So thank you for experiencing this with me today.